Well, hello everyone. This is going to be a little short, little shorty, quickie lecture capture about alternate splicing and three prime cleavage variation and how that results in different mRNAs from the same primary transcript. So let's add that from the same pre-mRNA, primary transcript, right? You know what I'm saying, script. All right. Alternative splicing or alternate splicing is when we do not include all of the exons in our RNA. Huh? What? Yes, we always, okay, at least from everything we've ever seen, always remove all introns. But we could also remove a few exons. So if you're asked on an exam or a quiz, uh, what does splicing do? It removes the introns, not the exons. You have to have the word alternative or alternate splicing in there in order to call it something that could remove exons. So please don't get that confused. We always remove all introns, that's splicing. If we do alternative splicing, we could also remove an exon. So what do I mean? In a normal transcription, primary transcript, free prime cleavage, polyadenylation, just like we normally would do, and then splice out all of the introns as usual, what we've seen so far, this would be what we get. This is our classic splicing. If, on the other hand, we do all of the same stuff here, but we decide, ooh, we want to clip out exon 2 as well, right? GU to AG removes exon 2. This lariat or this excised intron also contains the exon. This is degraded just like these guys. We have a different mRNA which results in a different sequence of amino acids because we're missing a bunch of amino acids. Different secondary structure, tertiary structure, possible different function for the proteins. So two different mRNAs, two different proteins due to alternative Splicing. Okay. Usually these are cell type specific. This one's made in one type of cell. This one's made in another type of cell. And then what's in in the proteins that are included in the spliceosome that do this in this cell, right? Are do this one GUAG and this one GUAG. In this cell type, whatever it happens to be, only use GU to AG. One big splice. In multiple 3' prime cleavage sites, or variation in 3' prime cleavage sites, we can see that within one primary transcript, we have two different places where we could do 3' prime cleavage. If we do 3' prime cleavage at number one, and we polyadenylate, and then we splice, we have a small mRNA with only some of exon 2, right? Here's a big exon 2. We cut off that whole part. What's left is here. If we use this other cleavage site, cleavage site number two, in that case would cleave there, right, polyadenylate, RNA splice out the intron, leave both exon one and two, but now exon two is much bigger, codes for more amino acids, right, from here all the way to here, going to give us the exact same sequence of amino acids as from here to wherever that original site was. All of these will be additional amino acids until the stop codon, making the primary structure a little bit different of the protein, the secondary structure, the tertiary structure, possible different functions of the proteins. Again, depending on what cell type it's in, we could cleave here in one cell type and here in another cell type, depending on where we need the function of this smaller protein versus this larger protein. So when we put this all together, we have our DNA, whole thing, the whole 
in the start of transcription, the whole thing is transcribed. In this case, we have multiple cleavage sites and alternative splicing happened in two different cell types, thyroid cells versus brain cells. Thyroid cells use cleavage site after exon 4. Brain cells use cleavage site after exon 6. Thyroid cells after they cleave, right, they have, they excise these three introns. We have this mRNA. When translation occurs, we get the calcitonin hormone in thyroid cells. In RNA processing in a brain cell, we actually use cleavage, the second cleavage site after exon 6, and we excise intron 1, intron 2, intron 3, and to 4, we actually skip exon 4, so the GU here to this HE, this whole thing gets cleaved out, we remove this intron, splice them all together, 1, 2, 3, we skip 4, 5, 6, Translation occurs, a different protein missing these amino acids has all these extra amino acids as calcitonin gene-related peptide. Two different proteins, two different functions. So that's it. That's all we're going to cover for alternate splicing and 3' prime cleavage sites. I hope you've enjoyed it. I certainly have.